The Battle of Bacon Lodge occurred on 30 October 1901 during the guerrilla phase of Anglo-Boer War of 1899-1902. The battle saw the Eastern Transvaal Boer commandos of Generals Grobler, Brits, Viune and Louis Boto attack the rear guard of Colonel Benson's much feared No. 3 flying column while it was in marching formation to its base camp. Chapter 1 Battle Lieutenant Colonel George Elliot Benson's British No. 3 flying column, comprising 2,000 men, specialized in night raids that were terrorizing Boer commandos on the Highfeld, it had become so successful that General Boto ordered all available Boer forces to accumulate at Bacon Lodge so as to attack Benson. The No. 3 flying column was marching back to a refit station after performing farm clearing operations. Rainy and misty weather had reduced visibility and made the going difficult which caused the marching British column to become spread out into clusters of troops. The column force became further extended when Benson began to deploy small detachments of mounted men and infantry to suppress small bore sniping teams that were roaming around the marching column. General Boto arrived with about 800 reinforcements after riding about 40 kilometers without stopping, on arrival, Boto observed that the strung-out column provided an ideal opportunity for an overwhelming force to roll up the isolated and spread out groups of Commonwealth troops piecemeal and immediately ordered a large bore force of mounted men to attack the small isolated rear guard of the column. Outnumbered 4 to 1, the column's rear guard of 210 Commonwealth troops set up a defensive position on Gun Hill and fought about 900 Boers in a close quarter 20 minute gun fight that ended only when the column rear guard was annihilated. Great bravery was demonstrated by the men on both sides with combined casualties numbering approximately 87 killed with 182 wounded. Colonel Benson was to die the next morning from wounds received on the field of battle. This rearguard action allowed the main column time to deploy and set up a defensive perimeter under Lieutenant Colonel Wool's Sampson. This deployment prevented the attacking Boer forces from riding on and capturing the main column as originally planned. The Boers left the field with whatever spoils they could carry and the British carried in the wounded to the entrenched camp during the night. The Baconlarged battlefield is located on the Creelkin Ross Road at the intersection of the R547 and R580 roads in Mpumalanga Province, just south of Mutlar Power Station. The 73 dead Commonwealth troops were buried on Gun Hill but later reinterred in Primrose Cemetery, corner of Cemetery Road and Beaconsfield Road, Germiston in the 1960s. Lieutenant Colonel Benson's grave is located at 26 degrees 1145.20 s 28 degrees 846.05 e. Sadly, some of the white granite graves have been vandalized and the brass letters on Colonel Benson's granite grave have been stolen.